guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you everything that is inside my husband's Christmas stocking this year. Now, if you are wondering where we got our stockings, we actually got these at Target maybe three or four years ago. I No, it was three years ago. And I know they do still have them at Target this year. So in case you're interested in them, it's just like a like ivory color with a red monogram letter. The H is obviously for my husband and then my daughter and I, we both have ones with our initials on them. But yeah, so this year we are doing Christmas a little bit differently between my husband and myself. We decided we are not going to do Christmas gifts at all and just do stockings. So whatever fits in the stocking is basically what our Christmas present is going to be to each other. If you are new to our channel, we moved from California to Texas and end of September, beginning of October, we had to buy all new furniture. And so it's been pretty expensive the past couple of months. And so I was just like, honestly, you know what? There's nothing that I really need or want. We've already been, all of my wants or needs have been like stuff for our new home. So like, just don't buy me anything. Let's just do each other stockings. And so we agreed it was just going to be stockings. So I hope he sticks to it because he always like, does like a little one-upper on me during the holidays and just like wows me. So I don't know, hopefully we, we stick to the plan because that's what I did. I just stuck to the plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I got for him for his stocking this year. So the first thing that I have here, I got this at Target. I will try to mention every store and the prices that I got everything at. Just in case you're interested, you can go and check out your local store too. But this I got at the Bullseye Playground, which is like the Target dollar one spot, even though this is $5. This is a car vent mount. Um, it says it can like swivel 360 degrees. It's white. And I just thought this was like a really good idea. That way, you know, whenever you're driving, we're, wait, this is like a new area for us, so we don't really know our way around. So we're using our GPS on our phones a lot. So instead of like, you know, driving, holding the phone, I feel like that's just as dangerous as like talking and texting while driving. So this literally just goes, I'll just show you like the picture here. It literally just goes into like your car vent and you put your phone. And so, I mean, you can just, well, for me, I want it for directions, but I guess you could use it for like whatever else. So I thought this was a really good deal. I hope it does work though. Like it's not like, I mean, it's five bucks. So obviously like the price wise, it's cheap. I just hope it's not like cheaply made and it works. So if you guys have this, let me know. I did get one for myself as well, but I'm not using it because if he sees that I have it, I know he'll be like, well, why didn't you buy me one? And it would just ruin the surprise. So Mine is just like tucked away in the closet in a hiding spot until after Christmas and then I can use mine. So anyways, I got him a car mount. I don't know, thought it was a good idea. Um, the next thing I bought, actually I just bought it tonight with my daughter. I got it at Macy's. Um, I feel like, it's funny, I was thinking about it and this will be the third Christmas I have bought him a wallet. Um, but the wallet that I got him last year, I got him a Herschel backpack and a Herschel wallet. It's a fabric wallet and it was damaging all of his credit cards. Like all of his credit cards were getting like a crack in them, like where the magnetic strip is. And he's had to get replacements on like four or five different cards. And even his driver's license has cracked. So um, he stopped using it and started using like an old, old wallet that he had. And I mean, it's just like a small little, like it literally only holds, I think like two credit cards and like an ID. So I was like, you know what? Let me get him a new wallet. Um, I don't know if he's gonna like this. I don't know. I get very nervous about buying like fashion type items. And to me, a wallet is like considered like a fashion or accessory item because I don't know, like I feel like he just has like this sense of style and I never know if he's going to like it or not. Um, but I got a Perry Ellis wallet, um, and it was 60% off and not all of their wallets are 60% off, but this one was, and I really like it because he also likes very thin wallets. So this one was pretty, um, thin. I think it says it is genuine leather. It has the RFID like protection, which I liked that because I just feel like, you know, that's important, you know, for security. So anyways, it's just a brown. I don't know. I really liked it. Like I liked that it was brown and it has like the dark edges around it. I feel like that is a little bit different. And then inside just your typical, it holds how many credit cards? So one, two, three, so six. And then it has like these side pockets on each side here and then the spot for the moolah. So anyways, um, yeah, I hope he likes this. I don't know, um, but we will see. Let me just stick this back in here. So um, I double checked with the Macy's associate. He said I could return it as long as everything was attached. So that's why I don't wanna take like anything out. I'm just gonna leave it all inside the box. In case my husband doesn't like it, he can just return it or exchange it for something else 
or I can just buy him like a new wallet. Um, I didn't even know this was 60% off until he told me like it was normally $39.50 and I only paid $15 and some change. So I was like, hey, Merry Christmas. I like that. Um, so the next thing that I got him, I got this on Black Friday at Walmart. It is Avengers Affinity War. My husband is an Iron Man lover. He has a tattoo of Iron Man just so you know the love for Iron Man is real with him. But yeah, he has one like right here on the back of his arm. I love it. It was one of my father day, Father's Day gifts to him. But anyway, so yeah, this is the newest just Avengers Infinity War. It's the Blu-ray and digital copy. I got this at Walmart on Black Friday for $17.96. Um, I thought it was $9.96 because I, I got another movie for $9.96 and I and it was like in the same bin So I thought this one was too until like I looked at my receipt and I was like, oh, it was $17.96 But I'm not gonna complain. It's still cheaper Than like the um normal. I don't even know what the normal price is, but it was still cheaper than $20 So I'm not gonna complain about it and I know he's gonna love the movie. So anyways Sour Patch Kids here. I this is like the only yeah, like the only candy or food item. My husband does not have a sweet tooth at all whatsoever. He's not really into chocolate or candy or any of that. But the candy that he does love is Sour Patch Kids. This was only a dollar. I did get it at Target. This is the like Christmas edition. So everything is green and red. And yeah, so he loves the Sour Patch Kids. So I, of course, had to get it. I get him this every year for Christmas. So, um, and then the next thing that I have, what is in here? Oh. So I also got this at Black Friday at Walmart. It is a spin pop. So it's the, um, I don't know if it's the knockoff version, but um, what is that? Why can't I think of what it is? You guys know, here's my phone right here. What is this called? What is this version called? Oh, pop socket. Whew. So anyways, yeah, I actually got him a black pop socket last Christmas in a stocking and he still has it. My daughter did paint all over his though, so it looks really cute. Um, but I just figured in case his ever breaks or anything happens to it, he can have a backup because mine from last year already broke. So this is like my replacement. But anyways, this brand is called Spin Pop. So it's the same exact thing as a pop socket. It says that you can wrap around like earbuds. I don't know if you can do that with pop sockets. But anyways, it was just two bucks. It is black and it's like texturized. I don't know if you guys can like see that. So I don't know, it just has like kind of a little bit of a design on it and it's black, which would go with his like phone and his case. And I mean, it was two bucks. So, I mean, you can't really beat that, right? Just to like have a backup. Um, okay, this next item, I don't really know if he's gonna love it, but I was just like, you know, he loves Iron Man, so why not? So I'll just show you guys here. It is an Iron Man fidget spinner. I got this at Target. This is normally $5.99 and it was on sale at Target for $1.99. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, it's Iron Man. And my husband actually loves fidget spinners. I know fidget spinners are like all the rage. Was it last year or was it, or was it earlier this year? I don't know if it was last year or earlier this year. My nephews, my husband, my daughter, they were obsessed with fidget spinners. And so I saw this and I was like, it's an Iron Man fidget spinner. And he doesn't have one. He used to always play with my daughter. So he would always like put it on his nose or his forehead. He played with it like a little kid. So I saw the Iron Man one. I was like, it's $2, like just for a little fun, why not? So I got him his own little fidget spinner. And they had other um, Marvel like superheroes. They had Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, and Spider-Man. And I actually got each of these fidget spinners for my nephews, because I made them their own Christmas stockings this year. And so I each got them a fidget spinner too. I mean, it was $2, so I was like, yes. And my nephews love like the superheroes. So anyways, I thought that was a great gift. Um, and then the other item I got, I got this at Walmart. Um, so my husband has seen this a couple of times and he keeps saying like, oh my God, I didn't know they made this item. I didn't know about it either, honestly, until he pointed it out. But I feel like everybody knows the game Uno. Well, now they have a game called Dos. And I don't know if it's like just came out or if it's been out for a while and we just had no idea. But we love card games. We love playing games in general. And my husband has said it several times, like, I wonder how you play that game, Dos. Like, I wonder what it's all about, blah, 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 blah. And so I was like, okay, he said it several times. We do like games. I was like, this would be a perfect stocking stuffer. So I just got him the game, Dos. I haven't even read it, to be honest, to even see how you play it. So um, I guess we'll have to figure it out. But I do think that this is what, like, just be a little, like, fun thing to have, like, in the house. And I know he's going to love this. And the last item in my husband's stocking, I just got it tonight, too, at Lush. It is Kalamazoo. He loves this stuff so much. It is beard and facial wash. My husband has like a really big um, 
sexy beard. I like it personally. And um, he loves this stuff and he's been out of it for a while and saying how he's been wanting to get it. And you guys, it was really hard. I went tonight actually, I went there and I was like, I'm just gonna walk in, get this and walk out because I would have gone nuts over everything in Lush. I love Lush so much. It's one of my favorite stores. But I knew if I had bought other Lush products, number one, he would notice because he's a big like Lushy as well and he loves like facial products. So he would notice and then I think he would be like, oh, you didn't get me Kalamazoo. And for me, it would be hard to not be like, no, I did. You know what I mean? And I don't want him to find out. So anyways, I just got this and I left. I was very proud of myself to hold the restraint. This is the biggest bottle that they have or the biggest like container. They have two sizes. So this is 8.4 ounces and I think it is $24. Yeah, it is. It's $24.95. Lush products are a little bit more on the pricier side, but I definitely think they are worth it. So that is everything for my husband's Christmas stocking this year. There is one other item that I'm putting inside of his stocking, which is lottery tickets, but like the scratchers. I just didn't go to like the gas station or convenience store to buy them yet because I put I put them in his stocking and my daughter's stocking every year. I know for some people that might be weird, but growing up for myself, that was always a tradition. We always got scratchers in our Christmas stocking and I just wanted to bring that tradition over with my family and my husband and my daughter and I, we, we all love it. So that is the last item that is going in my husband's Christmas stocking, but I just don't have it to physically show you. So anyways, that is everything in his Christmas stocking this year and that is basically going to be his Christmas from me so I hope you guys did enjoy this video I hope you guys got some great ideas I know stocking stuffers can kind of be hard to figure out what you want to buy like your husband your wife your, your child so me personally I love doing stocking stuffers I don't know why I think it's so much more fun to do stocking stuffers than it is actual gifts I don't know why I just find it a lot of fun because I feel like it's a challenge almost and I like it. So if you did like this video and you want more ideas, I actually did a stocking stuffers gift idea for my husband for last year. And I also did one for my daughter for last year and this year. So if you need one for like a little girl, you know, between maybe the ages of like two to four or even five, um, you can definitely check out those videos that I did for my daughter as well. But that is all I have for this video. So I hope you guys did like it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.